I'm out here today in LA. We just visited, visited the Thirst Project headquarters, me and my team of awesome individuals for the Thirst Project, Mackenzie Hong, Enjoy. Ethan Coates, and Maddie Llewellyn somewhere there in the back. <laughs> and so we came to LA today to refine our strategy of how we're gonna, don or we're gonna fundraise $12,000 to build a well in South Africa, Swaziland. We got students for Swaziland t-shirts. You got, it's repping on the back too. And so what, I, what I'd like to talk about today is the important, importance of strategizing in whatever you're doing. And so I, I like to, I have this model, the KSE. So you build knowledge and then you create a strategy from the knowledge that you built and then you ex execute that strategy. And so a lot of people do it wrong. You know, they try to execute first and then they go back, try to build a strategy and then they, they build this knowledge from what they learn from their mistakes. But what you really want to do, because people do it backwards, you want to do it forwards. And so you need to build knowledge first, you need to look at what people who have done wrong in the past, learn from their mistakes, because we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. So what we did today is we, we asked Ethan, or Evan, not Ethan, Ethan's right there. Uh, we, at, we asked Evan from the Thirst Project, you know, what has worked? What have you seen in the past from other schools? Because you're the man, I mean, you have the multiple, multiples of experience and you, you know that some people have fundraised $24,000 in like two months. So I'm here with my, my members and we're gonna talk about some things that we learned today. Well, what I learned today is that no means no, or doesn't always mean no, and that you can ask, you didn't ask the right way if somebody did say no to you, and that you gotta change the way you do it and be forward and be persistent in what you do, and don't accept no for an answer. Yeah, so that, that goes back to you know, like different ways of persuading people, and you know, one of the things I'm doing for my senior research project is the cognitive biases, and that's how you can introduce people to different ways of thinking, and, there's one of these called like the incentive theory and Maddie Llewellyn can talk to you about that. Um, so you need to give people an incentive um, to get them to do something. So our incentive is that we're saving lives, but some people are not always on that, on the same track as us. So when producing something, you have to be able to give something to somebody to make them interested into it. Yeah, and that's something very powerful. I mean, you can see that in, you know, a lot of different organizations, you know, Apple, the top market capitalization company in the world, $766 billion, they give you a great phone and, you know, in turn you're happy. So Ethan is also going to chime in here. We're getting all four people yeah. in this video. So, so what I, a whole lot of what I learned today was um, kind of piggybacking off of Mackenzie and what he said um, is breaking tradition is not uh, impossible. You can do it and you uh, should be able to have that drive to do it. And it's really hard for us in, uh, in our community to be able to do that. But I got really inspired today uh, but why, but about what Evan said and uh, what he was saying is that um, you shouldn't take no for no because no doesn't mean no, it just means you asked in the wrong way. So asking in the right way and uh, building your credibility in that way, uh, just putting yourself out there means a lot. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot and go a long way. Yeah, I, I mean, I've, like Ethan said, we, we specifically have seen this in our community, how people can be resistant to change. I know Ty Lopez talks about the archaic 500-year-old mind and how people aren't willing to adapt to their different situations. You have to recognize that and then be able to, you know, see what's going to work best and then implement your strategy and execute what we're going to do and get this $12,000 because we're passionate individuals coming out for change. We're out here getting it. So that's what we got for you today. Strategize and, you know, different ways, different things that we learned today.